Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today, I want to get into the Mackay Becton trade rumors, if there are any and why. I really don't think it makes any sense for the New York Jets to be trading Mackay Becton. Before we get started today, Matt O'Leary and why on social media and make sure to check out the Just Jets podcast. New episode drops tomorrow. So it's training camp. The pads are on today. All good things that you love to see. But there's been some rumor circulating about Makai Becton and a potential trade, and I don't think it necessarily makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, you've seen guys like Brian Costello predict that Makai Becton's not going to be on the team, that he'll be moved. Uh, and that seems to be a common theme now from some of the beat reporters. And I understand why that some might say, and especially some a, a small portion of the fan base who are just all the way done with Makai Becton, just want this to be over with. You get anything for him and you move on. But... I don't think it makes any sense to trade Mekhi Becton, even if he's not going to be a starter this year, theoretically, right? Even if you don't view him as a long-term part of your future, why are you moving any tackle depth after what happened last year? Last year, the New York Jets lost. Dwayne Brown missed time. Mekhi Becton missed time. He missed the entire season. George Fant missed time. Uh, AVT missed time. Cedric Abouye, uh came into play, and then he got hurt. Uh, Max Mitchell missed time. They had a ton, a ton of injuries on the offensive line. And now this year, they're running back a similar core, but with some more depth, at least behind it. And now you want to take that one thing that you could look at as an advantage, the offensive line depth. Sure, there are some question marks with it, but there's no denying that they have depth and make it worse by trading Mekhi Becton at arguably his lowest, by the way. Yes, he's in better shape now. Uh, and, you know, it could potentially have a, a, a nice season. But wow, you would be selling him after not playing the last two years. He, he played one game or half a game in 2021, the first game of the year, missed the rest of the season and then got hurt in training camp last year. And you want to sell that off at what the lowest value for what? For what? In a win now year, does that future pick swap help you it was different with Denzel Mims because they had depth and just did not see a a role for him on this team and they are deep deep at that position Jets like Makai from a ceiling perspective and from a talent perspective has a real chance to start and even if again even if he doesn't start right like even if let's say it is Billy Turner or Carter Warren doubtful or Max Mitchell probably doubtful at this point uh but or Dwayne Brant like Again, I don't understand why or the logic behind moving Makai, who, yes, maybe he, so far you can make the case he hasn't been what you hoped for when you were getting him 11th overall in 2020. He looked pretty good in his first year in his rookie season. Granted, that's three years ago. But like, again, you want to you want to move on now at this point? I don't get it. This kind of all goes back to also the uh, article that came out from Newsday where he uh said that playing right tackle hurt him. He believes anyway that he want, he made it clear he wants to play left tackle and he, to an extent, threw the Jets under the bus. I didn't like that. I'll be honest with you. I still don't like that he went out uh, to Newsday and, and told his story. I think that was the wrong way to handle it. I also believe that the Jets did not handle his injuries properly as well. I think both sides are at fault here to an extent, but uh, that's not enough for me to say, all right, we're cutting bait, we're moving on. In a year where you are supposed to be going for it, a team where you're supposed to be competing for a championship and trading a, a, a tackle who has a chance to be a starter, you're going to trade Makai and then start Billy Turner? I don't know, man. I, I, I really don't know. I don't get the logic behind that one. I don't really think it makes a whole lot of sense. It's not something I think the Jets should consider. Uh, finally, Joe Douglas has been able to go out there and get some offensive line depth after, you know, getting killed with injuries last year on the offensive line, absolutely killed with offensive line injuries last year. Uh, and you go through that and then you're going to say, you know what, we're going to trade an offensive lineman. I don't know. That doesn't add up to me. So I'm saying, no, these rumors do not make sense, but I want to hear from you. Do you think the rumors make sense? Sound off below in the comments. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary. Please subscribe if you're new, give the video a thumb up and I'll talk to you next time.